right, so here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, we've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, a nice job to catch the leg and work it right into a takedown. Beautiful transition there. It's such a fast leg kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just out of range with that right hand. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Another big body kick land. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Well, he has certainly found the range and stand for oh. him with a flush left. Trying to double up on that jab. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. What a punch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Kicks to the body by Verdun. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Big kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking. Oh! Final second to round one. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, Verdum's trying to lock up on a submission now. Nicely done. Elbow there by Verdum. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. here in round two. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, just open it up on him now. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's been 
good tonight, but he missed with that one. And they set it. Oh, nice. Oh, straight right. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab has landed consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Verdum gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, he's throwing it over and over. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Final seconds here of round two. Oh! Whoa! the head kick did get the knockdown talk us through the replay he got the knockdown he won the round he did everything completely. the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick. It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Just out of range with the big right hand. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed right in the Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Just over three minutes to go. All 
All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. He's having his way with him here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, big elbow. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Lands an elbow there. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Real nice body kick. Round two straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. That round. Great fight. Great. All right, round two. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big call to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He got him. Oh, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one. Oh, holy smokes! He put it to sleep! Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Curtis Blades. Well, you know, I don't like the knee very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Working out of the half guard here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Gets up again here, but hurts. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Wow! Back to the feet. Spinning back fist is there. Well, no surprises. He can.
nice fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Curtis Fraser! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout.